Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Nerdable Podcast. Today, David and I are going to be talking about the usual stuff, Pokemon, Pokemon Go, uh, Spunko Pops, and some weird Target Pokemon policy that we've kind of briefly touched on before, but it's getting like really intense now, like crazy intense. And so we're going to kind of just chat about all of that um, before we go in. Um, David, have you got anything new? I know that you're saying you want to open up something in the uh, next couple so of days or so. Just it goes to the past. I don't really have time to open it up. I've been trying to, uh, but I just haven't really had time with work and stuff. But other than that, I it's kind of like in a weird pause in Yu Gi Oh! right now. It's like May, there's like it was like, oh, Ghost of the Past was like highly anticipated, and then it kind of like everybody's just kind of like, well, it wasn't as good. So I think it was super overhyped. And then there's like that weird dip in May where there's like not really anything like lightning overdrive, but it's kind of like unappealing, at least to me. I don't know if people are looking looking into that, but other than that, there's a huge dip in product until like June and July and then it, it just blows up. Summertime. So, yeah. Kind of makes sense because summertime people are out of school, people are getting taking on vacation, people are going to be spending more. So yeah, it kind of makes sense, but um as we are recording this i don't think i've got anything new actually i've been i'm because i'm going to vegas i'm going to be living my best life in vegas because i'm fully vaccinated and um i'm going i've been saving money like well okay Mm, not really saving money i've been door dashing a lot (laughs) but i have been saving money i'm trying to so i'm like the other day i shopped online i put a bunch of stuff in my cart and then I was just like, I left it there. So I got the satisfaction of like shopping for it. But Which, I was like, oh, I don't need it yet. I just like put it off. My newest I thing, I, don't think, I put it on my Instagram, but I don't think I showed it on the podcast. So this is my newest. And it is Godzilla, Heat Ray Godzilla. It's an FYE exclusive. It goes in the dark. Close in the dark. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah. So <laughs> he's pretty cool. I want to get the whole collection. So there's one, two three four five there's eight in this collection plus that doesn't count other exclusives but i did order diamond charmander so i'm hoping i get them kind of soon so oh that's awesome oh yeah okay i had diamond you know what i'm pissed off now that you brought that up um you triggered me like demi the lotto does um (laughs) i totally totally forgot about wondercon and I oh. freaking missed out on the two um, Pokemon exclusives. What was it? Jolteon and Flareon? Diamond? Oh, I seen those, yeah. I missed out on both of them. I didn't realize it. They came out like at 11 a.m. Central Time, I think. And I didn't, I realized it like two or three hours later. Now you have to buy them from eBay at like double what they cost. Or Mercari. Yeah. Oh man, I'm triggered just thinking about it. I hate myself for that shit. And that's because I had an alarm set. But that night before, I thought I was 21 again and I went to live life and I partied. Well, like I drank and I never drink. And I drank and, um, well, I slept in until like one o'clock and I never do that. I, I'm always up, even on my days off, I'm up like eight or nine in the morning, like pushing it as 10. And so I was like, oh, I'll be fine. Nope. I was I like, dumb. It's like me when I tried to open. I tried to get up early for the Pokemon 25th anniversary shoes, and so I did. I set my alarm, and then it was only available in Japan, and I was pretty sad. Oh, I'd be pissed. Japan gets everything. God, I I don't hate them, but God, it's not fair. Mm-hmm. They get everything cool Pokemon. So yeah, um, the ones I really want to get from Godzilla versus Kong. They had the 10 inch Godzilla and Kong. I bet those are freaking bad. A like, I bet you they're just so amazing. So I don't really have room for them, but I'll figure it out. Um, yeah, let's get into some stuff. So um, we are recording this on Thursday, the 29th, and Pokemon Snap gets released tomorrow. Um, I know some pre- pre-releases, like if you order physical copies, I know some people are getting them today. Um, oh, 
yeah oh. like if you're getting the physical copy and you pre-release some of them like certain companies are allowing you to get your copies today um pokemon snaps out tomorrow and i read some reviews on it you know from like a bunch of gaming review websites all of the reviews seem to be very positive um so there are lots of reviews and like one of the reviews stood out to me and like the headline was like the most relaxing game since animal crossing and oh. i'm like um maybe i'm just psycho but animal crossing wasn't that relaxing for me because i was stressed <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, that stressed me out like having to wait you know all those days to like do stuff i just started like fast forwarding my time on my on my switch and like cheating i was like screw it um yeah so there's that um i'm sorry what you're saying i'm not sure if it'll be very relaxing i felt like some people might be angered just because like you're trying to take a picture of a certain pokemon it won't turn around so there you are you're gonna be throwing stuff at it and it's not gonna turn around it might that might stress some people out actually might not be like, as relaxing as we think that's basically probably gonna be me or you i'm gonna take a photo and it's gonna be like the Pokemon's gonna like slowly turn around or it's gonna be fucking blurry or something. <sighs> I'm stressed already. You see, that headline is bullshit. Um, and I'll be as relaxed as you think. Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, so it has, like I said, basically good reviews everywhere. Um, I read that there are no shiny Pokemon in this game. Um, yeah, that would have been cool, right? I mean, there was that one, I know in Pokemon, the first Pokemon Snap, apparently there was this thing you could do. And I never realized that as a kid, because, you know, we're kids and we don't realize these things. But you could make Mew kind of shiny or like what the 90s version of shiny looked like. And if you would throw stuff at it, he would like sparkle. So technically, mm. and that was kind of like basically shiny Mew. Before shiny Mew. I didn't know cool. that. Yeah, I didn't know that either. So I'm interested to see, are you going to buy the game? Oh, for sure. I'm going to be online tomorrow. If there's a line, I'll be there, but I'll probably wake up like around 12 or 1 and then go get it and then play until I go into work at 8 o'clock. Yeah, so I usually just get digital like versions of games. Um, I'm on the fence. Like Right now, I just have so much running on. I'm like, if I buy it, I'm not really going to... And then I work tomorrow too, so I'm like, mm, I'm not really going to have time to play it. And I just want to buy it just so I can see like the graphics and like kind of see just like what it's about you know but i'm like how much is it probably like 60 bucks probably yeah i mean the only reason i get physical copies of like switch games is because like like they they don't really drop value too much like every other game so like i if i don't really want them i can always trade them in and like switch i don't really have that many digital things i just rather get them physical because i know this i just don't know if i'm gonna keep it or not you know yeah yeah, like I bought so many games on, and I'm like, mm, don't haven't even played them um, mm -hmm. on the Switch. And so I'm, I don't know, I'm like torn. I, I really want it, but I know I'm going to buy it. I just don't know if I'm going to buy it tomorrow. Um, so moving on from Pokemon Snap, um, Niantic announced um, Pokemon Go Community Day for May is going to be on May 15th. And it's going to be focusing on the Pokemon Swablu, Blue, which I thought was, I feel like that's just like a weird. Pokemon. That's the, that's the Cotton, if I'm not mistaken, right? She's like Cotton. He, made of, he, oh, Swab yeah. Blue. Oh, he's a, a bird. Like yeah, a the bird. Mm -hmm. the bird Pokemon. I, I, I like, feel it's yeah. kind of weird. Um, it says the event will have 25% um, hatch distance and has three hour incense. Um, it will also give out the move Moonblast to Altaria. Um, oh, that's pretty I cool. Need, I need that because my Swab Bloom right now is at like 150 candies, and I need 400 to get Altaria. So hopefully I'll have Altaria that day. That's cool. And um, you'll be able to purchase a ticket to receive a special research cotton winged bird, Mega Altaria, when when Ooh. it's available in mega raids right after the event the community day will run from 11 a.m to 5 p.m in each local time zone so whatever time zone you're in it'll run from 11 a.m to 5 p.m on may the 15th Ooh. so so put I'm that in your calendars 
<laughs> that day off and be like, hey, and just mess with my brother. Let's go to the park. I'm like, hopefully it's a nice day out. Um, well, I don't know. May that's when it starts to get like miserable here. So where we live, uh-huh. so on the day uh, off when I request it, it's like Pokemon. Yeah, so more Pokemon news. Uh, Pokemon Go has announced that Pokemon Go Fest will return this year as a two-day global event. It's going to be held in July, uh, from July 17th to the 18th. So it looks like there's going to be tons and tons of Pokemon events, which is not surprising to me, being that it is the 25th anniversary. I feel like Pokemon is just trying to pump it all out because I really feel like going into next year, um, I feel like things will kind of die down a bit. Oh, for sure. Um, like, because we kind of saw the same thing with Yu-Gi-Oh! It kind of like went up to and was like, oh, I'm going to buy all the Yu-Gi-Oh! And then it just kind of like has dropped. Like, everything's kind of on the shelves now. And Yu-Gi-Oh! is not getting... a. Uh, like limited you can buy whatever you want you can buy as much as you want it's not you know going because people aren't going crazy and reselling it yeah so that will lead to the next thing which is pokemon cards and target um i think we briefly talked about recently target is going to be limiting a limiting amount uh, i'm sorry purchases of pokemon <laughs> cards to fridays at 8 a.m only um and that's for every i thought it was just locally um however i have read on vice.com that target actually has created a a nationwide company policy that they have titled the pokemon card policy or pokemon tcg policy and it is fridays 8 a.m only whatever time zone you're in and then um now they're actually uh, actually limiting the amount of product that you can buy per person. So they, I have seen photos that they're they were limiting uh, like one item per person, and then I have read like in North Carolina and some other states, it's like three items, like per like style, I guess, so like a booster pack and a trainer elite trainer box, so three per person. Um, which I think that is okay, but I don't know about the one item, you know what I mean? Like three items, I feel like it's okay. Um, cause I feel like that still will, um, help prevent like scalpers and like resellers, oh, you know, sure. I but think one is kind of, it's pretty drastic, but I mean, I guess I understand where they're coming from. Um, it definitely will get rid of the scalpers. Cause I think they'll stop wasting their time. I think they'll be like, Oh, well, I'm not going to go all the way over there for one product. You know, so it could be good. It, it could, it's good for it to get rid of scalping, but it might be bad for collectors. Yeah. Um, I mean, imagine being able to only go and then when you get there, you only can get like three booster packs and that's all you can do. Like you wait in line and all you get is three booster packs. I'm like, what's the point? Um, yeah. I hate that. And but- so, what are you saying? I'm sorry. <laughs> It could also be a good thing for like locally owned card shops, like the small businesses that are like uh, kind of getting like kind of up and coming card shops and people like online sellers. It might be beneficial for them because if they sell sold product, they might have the upper hand against Target. But it, again, it just depends. It's a give and take. It's kind of good and bad at the same time. Yeah. My friend um, is a part owner in a local like, po- like, well, it's like a collectible shop kind of. It's like Pop Boys, I think it's called. Um, oh. And so they sell like Funko Pops and they also do like, I guess people are into like collectible like shoes or like, 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 limited, oh, yeah, like you know, and then um, they also do just a bunch of different collectibles like statues and stuff. They have recently been like um, sharing on their Facebook that they are doing like, um, what is it? I guess they they get collections from people like I guess like a reseller or something and then they will sell it for them like at a price and so they're getting like huge amounts of stock and then it's gone like in a day yeah. um so they're doing that and that's cool because it's like a local shop you know what I mean um yeah. my friend is now the store manager at box lunch here where we live and um she was my assistant manager and I worked there and um she messaged me the other day they got pokemon cards in 
and they were like oh. four they were four like 4.99 a pack oh no 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 they were 6.99 a pack there and um she had a bunch and she was like hey do you want me to you know do you want me to put some on hold for you and she's like i'm on a conference call right now she's like i'll put a few packs on hold for you whatever i'm like yeah yeah cool i'll be there you know tomorrow because they can hold for a certain amount of i think for like 24 hours they can hold and so i was like yeah cool and then i was like excited because i was gonna like get them for a decent price you know 6.99 not too bad plus i had box uh box lunch money and um so it was gonna give me like discounted and um anyways she texted me like an hour later she's like oh my god she's like literally my conference call was like 30 minutes and i go to the sales floor to get your cards and they're all gone already whoa what the heck and she said they had just put them out and she was like literally like within 30 minutes they were gone what the heck that is wild and i mean they don't they don't get like tons of pokemon cards it was maybe like 30 to 40 packs but still like for them to they didn't even share it on their social media page it was just gone it was just like i think people are constantly looking for them just for the fact of i i and i hate to say it because like i talk about it so much on my channel and it's ridiculous like people are easily buying into the craze it's like these have to be worth money and it's like it and not ne- it's not necessarily always worth money you know what i mean like there's you're seeing more and more people kind of pop up that do openings and, and, you know, they're, they kind of are like, there's a huge hype that you're going to get rich over in a night doing it. And I don't think that's the case. I think that's why we're seeing so much scalping. People are selling things for huge inflated prices because people think people really believe they're going to get rich off these things. And, and they're not, people have been doing it for years and nobody's rich yet. Yeah. Unless you have that first edition Charizard, (laughs) Yeah, you're not, probably not gonna get rich right away. You're not gonna get rich. Really, all you're gonna get is bulk cards, and you're oh, gonna be and, drowning in them, like I am. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, you can out of bulk, you probably can make like fifteen, twenty dollars, but you know, it's not really worth it. It's not worth standing in line for multiple hours for like fifteen, twenty bucks, if you ask me. Yeah, and like I do it because for content, for one, right? For content yeah. for Instagram and for to talk about here on the podcast and on the YouTube channel. But um, I do it because it's exciting to open the packs. But then, like after, I'm just kind of like, mm, okay, I'm done with the cards. Like I just put them in a box and there they go. Yeah, the exactly. Only, the only cards I list on the Nerdable Shop website um, are like the holographic, you know, like the hollow cards, uh, reverse hollow um and like the gx v max cards all those like shiny cards like i reap i will sell those you know but i mean what am i gonna make i mean i'll make i think the most i've made off of a card is like 125 dollars. you know that's you're that's not rich y'all you yeah, know what i mean good, like that's that's a good day too. <laughs> that's a good day off of and that was off of one card um, and I sold it on Mercari, but I'm like, you know, I mean, I sell cards. I I probably sell maybe two to three cards a week. And so it's like an additional, like maybe 40 to 60 bucks a week. So, cause the cards that I post are like valued from like 10 to maybe, you know, 20, $30, you know? And then in between there, I have cards that are like literally like 50 cents. So I'm like, wow, I, it's going to charge me more to ship it than. <laughs> it is a good time for collectors, though. They've been sitting on their cards waiting forever. That would be the time to sell and definitely cash in because you probably could like, like, I don't want to seem like kind of messed up, but collectors kind of have that kind of advantage over scalpers because they have the knowledge. They've been doing it for years and they can kind of, not saying it's right, but they can kind of get away with selling it a little bit higher because scalpers are unaware of the true price and they can kind of cash in. So it's kind of good for collectors at the same time. It was like time, now is the time to kind of cash in because in a few years, we not might not be as fortunate to be able to sell for as high prices as we do. Yeah, and Pokemon goes in and out. You know what I mean? Like it come, it's been around so long that it's one, 25 years. It's been, it's one of those things that, man, that's crazy. It's been around 25 years. I am... 30 something years old um and so it's been around like basically my entire life almost it will be 55 like about 55 56 whenever like 
fiftieth year anniversary comes around? Um, we won't discuss that. Um, yeah. you know, but <laughs> it's been around, you know, like in my entire life, and it's been. Mm-hmm. What's funny is, like I said, I've said recently also is like. I do go in and out of collecting, you know, like with the cards, yeah. but I always buy whatever new generation game comes out. I don't ever oh, buy okay. side games, which like we talked about last episode, yeah. we don't buy I the love. side games, but I do buy every game like with the new generation and I'll try it no matter whether I'm in the collecting or not. Um, but I think right now, a lot of the excitement for me is because I'm like hunting for them all the time. You know, I'm like, where are these fucking cards? I, I actually think I'm going to start, I might try and find some Pokemon Evolution packs. Like, I know I'm going to gonna pay oh, shit. Amounts. I know I'm going to pay well, way above retail right now, but I mean, they just, they're just very tempting. They look very interesting. I'm so annoyed because when I got, this last time that I got back into collecting, Evolutions was out and it was everywhere, everywhere. And I was buying them and just opening them and like I was some of those cars are the ones that are selling for like the higher prices because they came from evolutions. And I I just, man, I'm like, I wish I would have kept all that sealed product that I had. Like, man, I could have been just banking it off of a sealed product, but then I'm like, no, I'm, I like to open them and I like to see the artwork and I like to, you know, like I have to have content for, I have like have 10 Instagrams. I have like 10 Instagram pages that I run. And so I'm like, fuck, I have to have content for them. So, well. Yeah. Evolutions is like that most sought after pack just because of that Charizard reprint, the original one. Mm. I mean, it's still not worth that much. I mean, compared to the original, so I think you can get like 200 off of it, which isn't bad. But the one I made the, um, a good decent amount was actually a reverse hollow Charizard. Oh. Uh, and that one was I was surprised that it went I think it went for like 70 bucks or 80 bucks or something so I was like wow for a reverse hollow but it was Char- it's Charizard and it was you know what I mean so it's like whatever um, but yeah so that is kind of wrapping up the Pokemon stuff for today I um, want to talk about some new Funko Pops that have been announced and that I'm very excited for a couple of them So the ones I'm not excited for that I really don't care about, but I know a lot of people do, is their Disney has announced that they are coming out with four new princess pops. And um, the princess pops are Ariel, Jasmine, Aurora, and Tiana. I don't even know who Princess Aurora is. I thought I was seeing. Aurora sounds familiar, but I don't know where. I know Princess Tiana, I know Jasmine, I know Ariel. The other one, I'm like, I I literally don't know her. Um, Yeah, are you googling her? (laughs) Yeah, I'm like, who is who is Princess Aurora? Like, I I don't don't, like what movie is that? Maybe I'm just too old and I don't get it. But Um, like, I don't know her. Oh, I feel Um, so dumb. It's 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 Sleeping Beauty. Oh, really? Why didn't they just say Sleeping Beauty? I that's don't so know. Stupid. I didn't even know she had a name. That's dumb. I hate them. You see, that's why I'm not excited. I hate them. But I remember uh, why I remember it from, uh, what do you call it? From uh, Once Upon a Time. That's why I remember mm. the Princess Aurora. No one knows Aurora. No one knows that. That is so stupid. I'm going to put a poll up. I hate that. That's annoying. <laughs> do, you I'm know Princess Aurora? Uh, do you know Princess Aurora? I bet you Oh my god, I bet you nobody know. I'm gonna post it on my Facebook in a little bit, actually. Um watch everybody's gonna know. But only because they Google, I bet, idiots. Yeah. Uh, I'm all funny. hating on everyone already. <laughs> I'm all annoyed for no reason. I'm easily triggered. I need medication. So <laughs> uh, the uh, go Bob said I'm excited for is um from the new Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um Ooh, show, know. the marvel show disney plus um they are they are coming out with a whole line of Funko pops for that tv show and they look freaking cool man like they they're they are very some like very cool pops so uh, i'm excited for those um also uh disney you know they lately they've been into like remakes of, like live action movies um mm-hmm. of, like all their classics well they are doing a uh live live kind of remake of 101 Dalmatians but it's a prequel oh, called I, saw it. I saw the preview for it and 
I can't wait to watch it. Um, first of all, uh, second of all, they have pops from that movie coming out as well, and it looks they are fucking fire. Like I am so excited to get them. Um, let's see. I, I think out of those, I am most excited for the like Cruella Deville Funko Pops, just because I've always liked her. Like I don't know, I've always. Yeah. I just like her and I always felt like she's always one. I like vil- I like a good villain. You know what I yeah. mean? And I and like they, go ahead. They portray her so well in Once Upon a Time. I don't know if you ever seen him Once Upon a Time, but the way they portray Cruella Deville, like they pretty spot on. It's pretty great. I liked it. And the prequel yeah. looks amazing. You see, so I watched Once Upon a Time, but I like when Harry what is his name? Harry? The kid. Uh, Henry. Henry, Harry, Henry, whatever. When he like started getting older, I like stopped. Uh, I was just like, mm, boring over it. Um, so yeah, so some other Funko Pops I want to talk about that I'm not really interested in, but I know some people will be, uh, especially this one because it's an anime pop. Anime is huge, you know. Um, mm-hmm. It's an Inu Inuasha pop, and it's mm-hmm. going to be a blocked. Carrara, Kirara, I'm not sure. This is, oh man, this sucks. Ooh, I can kind of see it. That's kind of neat so far. It's kind yeah, of hard to see. Yeah, let me. I wonder if I. Oh, there you I, go. Yeah. Oh, that looks super cool. Yeah, so it's flocked. So that's cool. Um, and then I, again, that's cool. That is coming out. Uh, it's going to be a hot topic exclusive. Uh, there isn't a release date. Um, hot topic exclusives. I find them a little bit easier to get than like Target exclusives. Hot topic exclusives because they usually get restocks once they've sold out, and so I feel like it's a little bit easier to get those. Um, and then last week we talked about some crazy, I think it was last week or the week before, we talked about some like weird, crazy ad icon pops that are coming out. Well, this these are um, Hershey Kisses. And they are not Funko Pops, but they are Funko. Oh, okay. So it's actually a pop and a plush. So you can get one or the other. And they're Hershey Kisses. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, what the heck? Yeah, let so, me let me dim it like more. You could probably see it better. Yeah, there you go. So the bigger one's the plush. I'm assuming. Yeah. So the this one over here is the plush, and then this one here is the pop. So oh, for those of heck? you that are listening, sorry, it's a little visual, but you can watch this on our YouTube channel. I don't um, know how I feel about that. The eyes are a little a little weird for me. Yeah, I think the eyes are more so weird for me on the plush. And then, I don't know, like, could you see, let me, like, show you again. Do you see their little, like, tongues, like, sticking out? Like, oh, they have, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Why did, well, I don't know if the tongue is really. That's a little awkward for me, a little strange. Um, Let's see, kind of rounding it out here some more parks and recreation pops i'm like god damn they have a lot of those pops already um and then again for you anime collectors uh big apple collectibles has an exclusive shanks pop coming out um and that is from one piece and so yeah shanks and there's the chase figure of that one so that is pretty cool and I know that we spoke about Target just a second ago, uh, but Target has another exclusive bundle. So it's like a t-shirt bundle with a uh, Funko Pop. And I think it also comes with like, oh yeah, a Pocket Pop as well. Um, but this is actually just for like a youth shirt. So it's not like um, adult sizes. It's a black light pop of Marvel Spider-Man. And so, you know, like they've been getting into this whole black light thing and so like there it is there i like that i might order that and give the shirt to maybe my nephew (laughs) yeah so So that's a cool looking pop i just don't again i just feel a way about target exclusives 
and Star Wars is really going to eat up this whole Mandalorian craze because they are really seeing more of the what I call Baby Yoda, but it's not Baby Yoda. I know it's called the Child or whatever. Yeah, um, they Grogu, are, Grogu. yeah. So they are releasing more um, products of him, and it's a pocket pop with the T-shirt bundle, and then the Mandalorian um, with the T-shirt as well. And that is another Target exclusive. Oh, let me. I need to dim my phone screen. That's the only way you can see it. Target is just throwing everything out there. Yeah, I know. Target and Funko. I'm like, good Lord Jesus. And the last one I want to talk about is a cool, 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 cool Marvel pop. And it is actually the Red Hulk. Oh. How freaking awesome does he look, man? That and so the, cool. the chase is the glow in the dark. Oh, so how many, How does that work exactly? So you have to like find the glow in the dark? Is it just random? Random. Like, so basically, Funko Pops when they get shipped to like um like a just like a seller, like a store or something, they usually get cases of like six Funkos in a box, six to eight, and it's usually one chase for every six to eight pops, usually. Okay. And I only know this because I used to work at Box Lunch and that's the way it kind of worked. Like one for every six to eight pops in a packet, like in a bundle comes together. And is it like a designated sticker? Like it says glow in the dark and you're like, oh, that's it. Or you just have to basically buy it and turn off the light. Oh, no, you have to like, yeah, you have to like, you have to like let it like, you have to like put it in the light, like let it like power up, I guess. And then. You have to, but I don't know because that one, it looks like the entire body glows in the dark where, for example, the Godzilla that I showed you, it it's cool. However, it kind of sucks because only like the eyes glow in the dark. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So like that sucks. Like it would have been cool, for instance, if Godzilla, you see how in the picture here, he has like the blue flame coming out. It would have oh. been cool if they could have like done something like, you know what I mean? Like, has, like here. Yeah, do that. If all of this, like, blue, like, him spitting out this blue flame, like, if that was, like, if that happened and that glowed in the dark, that would be cool. For instance, I have this Funko Pop. Oh, shit. I hope I don't, like, just destroy this whole setup that I have here. Um, I have this Funko Pop that kind of is similar, and you'll see how they could have done it. And it glows in the dark. And this is from um, Maleficent. Oh, wow. That one looks super neat. You see? And they could have done this. You know what I mean? They could have done this exact thing with Godzilla. Yeah, they probably... I would like that. See, like and Superman. it's... Now, the, to be fair, this is a like six inch pop, and Godzilla is like a that Godzilla is a regular size pop, so maybe that had to do something with it. I don't know, but you'll see like this is like just separate from the base here, like the flame mm -hmm. is separate from the base, and so I feel like they could have done like a smaller version of this for Godzilla. You know what I mean? And then all of this mm -hmm. glows in the dark. Oh shoot, that's pretty neat. Yeah. So that is pretty cool. That's one of my favorite pops, uh, uh, six inch pops. And it's one of the rare ones that I have out of the box. Um, as you can tell behind me, I don't like to take them out of the box unless they're 10 inch pops and I don't really care. But yeah, so um, that is really it again for the Pokemon, Funko News and all that good stuff for this week. Uh, David, do you have anything else before we go? Uh, not yet, but probably come June, we'll probably have a lot more to talk about Yu Gi Oh! wise, cool. and then I'm looking to buy some stuff, so hopefully, by next week, we'll have quite a bit more. Yeah, hopefully, next <clears throat> we will see. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe, 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 maybe next week, I will open a few packs like on the podcast from my Vivid Voltage Booster Box. <gasps> uh, dun 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 to be continued we'll see uh so that is it for this week's podcast guys thank you so much for listening if you are listening on whatever 
podcast platform that you have please leave us a rating and review it helps us get discovered also find us on youtube channel so you can see everything that we're talking about um, because there are visual aspects to this podcast other than that guys uh, check us both out on social media our links are in the show notes and we'll chat next week have a great day